Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. President Lopez Obrador is wasting Mexico's economic potential currently. Technology and manufacturing executives are optimistic about Mexico's manufacturing potential, but Republican politicians in the U.S. have been vocal about Mexico's security problems and pointing to record levels of violent crime in Mexico. There is positive news such as Tesla's announcement of a $10 billion factory in the industrial center of Monterrey, but there is also breaking news in the U.S. about the recent kidnapping and killing of several American tourists who were visiting a nearby region of northern Mexico, risk analyst Ian Bremer and U.S. Senator Lindsey Graham summarize. Bremer recently visited Mexico and raved about Mexico's potential to become a nearshoring hub. Mexico is the country that will benefit the most for nearshoring, Bremer said. The Mexican government is no longer responsible for most of their country. It is an arco-terrorist state, Graham warned. Mexico produced a record $106 billion worth of auto parts in 2022. Mexico's passenger car exports increased by 23% in 2022 to over U.S. $31 billion. At the same time, however, Mexico has recorded over 140,000 murders during the tenure of President Andrés Manuel López Obrador. During López Obrador's tenure, the overall level of violence in Mexico was higher than at any time in modern Mexican history. There really are several Mexicos. There is the Mexico, which has had several decades of incredibly close economic integration with the United States, making the economy one of the most important manufacturing centers in the Western Hemisphere. On the other hand, there is Mexico with 35,000 truck thefts since López Obrador's administration began. There is Mexico with 30,000 murders a year. A country this size is always going to be a complicated place, Berg said. Even as automakers like Audi, BMW, Tesla, and Ford are making major new investments in the production of battery-powered cars in Mexico, there is a sense among their foreign executives that Mexico's 